Welcome back to the Daily Dean. So, we've all heard the expression, treat others how you want to be treated. But I think, uh, and I've experienced, that there's an inherent flaw with that idea and, like, way of acting. And way of, like, justifying your actions. It assumes that everybody wants the same thing, right? And that is just not the case. People are more than that. If somebody wants to make another person laugh by making a joke about their race, another person might take that the other way and be upset or distressed by it. The person who made the joke says, hey, what's your problem? I was just kidding around. Because, hey, you know, honestly, yeah, their intentions were to joke around. But then the other person was like, hey, no, I did not appreciate that. That was a mean thing to say and you should apologize for it. The other person says, I have nothing to apologize for because you're the one who's wrong. No, you're the one who's wrong. And there's this mistranslation or mis misinterpretation of what happens when two people interact. So instead of saying, treat others how you want to be treated, let's think about <laughs> the inherently complex nature of humanity. You have a completely unique stream of consciousness and experiences and memories and opinions and beliefs that are only you. Nobody has experienced your consciousness or environment or context or culture or experiences like you have, right? So apply that to now every single person you've ever met. I think there's a word for it where you realize people's lives are just as complex as yours, but now I'm trying to emphasize that. People are not always going to want the same things that you want. So consider that when you're speaking to somebody and they get upset. They have their own perspective and beliefs and uh, notions that are just as valid as yours. If somebody says that they're upset because you did something, back off. Apologize. Say, hey, I'm sorry for being insensitive to your perspective. I'll try and keep that, I'll try and keep that in mind next time we talk. And if somebody makes you feel bad because they've said something, remember that they also have their own unique perspective. And maybe it's tough trying to remember that, but... It's definitely one of the most important lessons I've learned. So hopefully that provides some solace to you or respite from things that make you upset or from the times you made others upset because, again, we're not perfect. Just like in that other video, uh, I think it was a couple days ago. I just, I wish you the best in your family, in your friends, in your other relationships that you have in your life because you, as a human being, deserve happiness that is your inherent right and it's really hard to get that in conjunction with trying to help other people's happinesses right so it's a little bit of a struggle it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a toss-up between what's right what's going to be right what's going what's wrong what's going to be wrong and how your actions are going to be affecting others but Hopefully, this is a piece of insight that you didn't consider or a piece of insight that now helps you because I guess thank you. <laughs> thank you. Bye.